If you're joining us in reading through the Bible story in 30 days, today's reading is 1 Kings 11, 42 through 12, 24. And if you've not read this passage of scripture, please pause the video now and read it. Sin is the cause of dissension. It's because we act foolishly and selfishly that we sometimes divide relationships rather than strengthen them. Many churches today are struggling with dissension inside of their own congregations. Most of these problems have come because people listen to themselves rather than to repent and listen to God. Rehoboam received very good advice from his elders and very bad advice from his peers. These elders recommended that he reduce the stress and the taxes and the, the weight that Solomon and David had brought upon the people through their taxes and building programs and other burdens. But Rehoboam's peers decided that he should be more powerful looking, and rather than approaching his regency as a servant of the people, he might be as a ruler of the people. Well, this did not relieve Jeroboam of his responsibility. He caused the dissension and the split to occur. His responsibility was to submit to the power of the government which God had ordained. But sometimes that's very difficult for us to submit when we believe that we are in the right and that those whom we are submitting to are in the wrong. So it really comes down to this. Whom do we trust ourselves? Do we trust in ourselves or in God? Leadership has a responsibility of listening to God and being submissive to his will and his commands. Those who are being led have the responsibility to listen to their leadership. If both are functioning by listening first to God and then acting responsibly, there will be no problems as the Holy Spirit will work out the details. But when one or both sides fails to submit to the Holy Spirit, then the struggles and dissensions arise. Well, this isn't to say that the leadership did not have the responsibility to maintain the doctrinal purity um, before God, and that in that leadership, they might have to exercise discipline so that the doctrinal purity is maintained but they must do this very carefully and within the guidelines that were laid out for them in Matthew chapter 18. Dissension should cause us to grieve. Jesus prayed for our unity in John 17. Whenever there is dissension, we need to come together as a group, confess our sin and repent from that which is causing us that dissension. It's only when we are in a unity that we will be able to be a strong witness for Christ.